the practice <laughs> swing. Okay. So no practice swing, really just crank it. Just go for it, yeah. Love it. Hi, I'm Steven Hanjack with Mass Golf, and today Kat and I stopped by Tor Physio Performance to see how our body moves and how it affects our golf swing. Hi, this is James Ashcroft from Tor Physio Performance in East of Mass, and today I'm here with Kat, and Kat mentioned she wants to work on consistency or is curious if there's anything that she can do physically to help her improve her consistency on the golf course. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna take Kat through a hip flexibility, a little bit of a screen, and then some coordination tests. Alrighty Kat, what we're gonna first do is look at your hip rotation. Are you a right-handed or left-handed player? Right-handed player. All right, so we're looking at your lead leg. So it's gonna check out how well this hip moves. So lead leg, we look at your downswing. All right, this is perfect. I love everything about this. We're gonna look at your backswing. Again, really awesome. So we're looking for 45 degrees in each, way, in each direction. You have that on your left side, any pain or pinching or discomfort? Yeah. All right, Kat, one of the next things we're gonna look at is how well you move your upper body, your arms, independent of your trunk, okay? So let's review for you. In terms of everything we've looked at so far, your hip mobility looks pretty good on the table. Yeah. Um, a little stiff on your left side, but just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Your golf posture, pretty good, but we do, we do create some tension in our low back which what I call is, is another variable that can limit your consistency because it stops your ability to turn nice and smoothly. Yeah. Okay. We looked at your coordination. How well do you separate upper from lower and lower from upper? And again, when I didn't give you support, yeah. this got a little wonky, right? We yeah. got a little bit of rotation, a little bit of side-to-side -side stuff. Yeah. So we talk about these things as, as variables that you have to then control for in your downswing. If you're making compensations to get the club in a position where you think it should be, mm -hmm. maybe it's just one or two, maybe it's a little bit of loss of posture, maybe, it, and they're small, right? On camera they don't look very big, and on 3D motion they don't look very big, yeah. but there are things that you have to do to deliver the golf club back to the ball consistently. Okay. So the better we get you moving, we take some of those variables out, it's a little easier for you to get the golf club back to the ball and back to a low point more consistently. So, we're gonna work on your left hip, we're gonna work on some of that back stuff, and we'll work on the shoulders. It's everything. <laughs> Hey Steven, so you've expressed interest in wanting to learn about how we can maybe get you hitting the ball further. So what we're going to do is take you through a few pieces, look at your hips and your upper back in terms of your mobility, and then look at a couple, couple other movements for you to see what we can do to help you get more yards off the tee. Perfect. Sound good? Alright, so Stephen, we had to do our single leg quarter turn jump, which gives us a better idea of how well off each leg you create force both to the side and rotationally. Okay, it's not perfect, but it gives us an idea of how well you use your trail leg, especially on your right side, to exert force. We jump about 50, 52 inches, okay? I'd love to see you over 60, okay? Part of it's a new task for you. Also, fairness, fairness to you, we didn't get you to warm up or anything like that, but it gives us an idea that we can help you create more lower body force likely to create speed. All right. Calibration in four, three, two, one. Speed creation. It looks like we can help you get moving quicker. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is we will look at some swing characteristics. More than anything, we're we'll just seeing if there's anything that, from my eye, from video, and from 3D motion, that is out of control. Yeah. Okay. You good with that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So we're gonna look at we're looking at the same kinematic sequence graph. We do this nice job of speeding up the hips, slowing them down, and letting things catch up. Your arm definitely doesn't use the momentum as easily from your upper body, okay? 
and hand speed up top way up here, 1726 on this speed. It's a pretty good swing. Sequence is pretty good, but you're just not getting enough in terms of the timing of your separation. Okay. So this is something we can work on with med balls. It's something that you can be conscious about and again, work on with an instructor right. so that you can get here and separate and then let things drop underneath. Because right. effectively your, your sequence is hips first, but barely, and then everything is coming very quick. Okay. So there's just a delay there for you that will be number one, a speed generator, and it will likely shallow you out a little bit, which will stop you getting from across as much. Okay. okay? Alrighty, so let's take some time to review. We brought uh, both Kat and Steven through our flexibility pieces, our golf coordination tests, some power tests, and then the 3D motion. So we take all of our golfers through this assessment, so we leave no stone unturned. So when you want to know, can I get more consistent? Can I hit the ball further? We know exactly what levers we need to pull. So both Steven and Kat have different things to work on. You likely will have different things to work on as well. So whether it's a flexibility issue and affecting your 3D motion and your sequence, whether it's just a speed or power generation issue or a coordination issue, right? Not timing your backswing or not, sorry, not timing your transition as well, not being efficient in building speed from body part to body part, we'll better recognize it and give you a plan. And that plan could be getting moving better, getting stronger, working with an instructor, or all of the above. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have questions with anything we've gone over today, please drop some comments, give us some love. Uh, I'll be happy to answer any questions that you guys have um, below. Thank you.